Hello, hi dear friends from uh, Food Meat Science, um, Best Chefs Awards. I'm Virgilio Martinez uh, from Lima, Peru. Yeah, right here in South America. Uh, what a pleasure to be with you and, and to be able to, 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 to connect uh, with all you guys uh, from here. Uh, I remember last, last year we were in Barcelona enjoying uh, the, the, this beautiful Congress. Uh, it was such a nice gathering of, of chefs. But this time uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak about something uh, new that we're doing here. We're actually experimenting with, um, with ashes. Uh, we've been doing this for, for many years uh, in the past, uh, but, but, uh, because uh, we, uh, we've been working on a, on a preparation called watia, which is uh, when you do the harvest of potatoes, um, you basically uh, make a little oven after you harvest the potatoes and the tubers and, and different vegetable roots and uh, you warm up the oven with fire and then uh, you cook the, 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 quite the, the vegetables, you, you cook them uh, inside this little oven. Uh, so it's, it's basically something very unique because uh, it happens right after a harvest and uh, this is called watia. Uh, we've been doing this for, for a few years and we, are, we keep changing this uh, with uh, different ingredients and because it's, it's actually a preparation that is coming from the Andes, from the mountains. And what, what we do uh, for the people who, who, who has been here in Central, um, you experience a menu which is based on, which is which, which starts in, in the uh, in the, in the uh, it's, it's based on, on the, the we call the alturas menu, which starts in the, in the sea, then uh, you go to the desert, then you go to the Andes, and then you go to the Amazon. So basically, it's like a it's a it's an exploration of our uh, biodiversity. I've, I've, I've talked about, about, about this uh, before and yeah, of course, some, some people experience this. But we are actually, uh, what we do is, is uh, we cook uh, different ecosystems uh, from our biodiversity. Um, uh, where we are now, we are, we are now in Lima. Uh, what we do is we bring these ecosystems to, to Lima, Lima, Peru, uh, to the coast. Uh, so. Uh, we keep bringing ingredients from the Amazon, we, cre we keep bringing ingredients from the Andes and, and also from, we're using ingredients, local ingredients from the coast. What we call local here is the coast and the sea, which is like a, a, a block from, from here, uh, from, from Central. This is the one, one of the areas of Mater Iniciativa. Um, at these times, uh, we are using something that people in the Andes is uh, using uh, while they are working on, uh, on, on the farms and the fields uh, up in the mountains, uh, which is called Jipta. Remember, remember this name, it's called Jipta. Uh, this is something that bring, bring out the, the alkaloids of the coca, the coca you, uh, you are chewing. And when, when I say coca, the coca leaves. Uh, so people actually, when, when, when they are working in the, in, at this uh, harsh, um, uh, environment at 5,000 meters above sea level, uh, uh, people chewing the coca, and and they are using they, they are using this uh, this uh, uh, this mix of ashes um, to to bring out the the, the alkaloids uh, of the coca. So you you get a, you get a better effect to to you know to to do uh, a, a a better day a, uh, to energize. Uh, uh, your work and, and also it has some, some spiritual um, meaning which is quite 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 deep in, in up, up in the mountains. So this Jipta thing uh, is, is, a, is a basically ashes and uh, I wanna I wanna show how we're doing the ashes how we're using the, the, the ashes uh, uh, ashes coming coming from the from the coast ashes actually coming from the also from the sea ashes coming from the Andes, from the mountains, using ingredients that are coming from, from uh, 4,000 or 5,000 5, meters of water level, let's say like uh, corn, just uh, the, the potatoes that uh, we, we were working with, uh, like uh, uh, let's, let's say about 30, 30 varieties of potatoes that we're using now, and some other ingredients that we, we, we use. Uh, most of the ingredients that we're using for, to, to, to make these ashes uh, are coming from the, the, the leftovers of what we use 
and, and then also uh, we're doing ashes with the uh, ingredients coming from the, uh, from the Amazon. So we're going to show four varieties of, of ashes uh, and then we'll be showing uh, how we use them in different preparations. So let's put a video about uh, the, the making of the ashes. Right here we have the, the ashes coming from the from the sea. Uh, the ashes coming from the from the Andes, from the mountains. Right here we have the, the ashes from the coast. And we're finishing the ashes from the the Amazon, the jungle. So what is happening next, I'm going to do the, the, the dough with, uh, with the tunta, the chuño, which is the, the freeze-dried potato. So then it goes to the kitchen, like this. Ready? Yeah, it's ready. So you got to see the, the outside part of Central where we, where we welcome uh, the people and then we have this uh, beautiful, beautiful space. Uh, this is the entrance of the restaurant and also we have a garden there and we have this, this place where we set uh, the fire to uh, cook some, to do some preparations. 
and this time of course we are using for the ashes. Um, so these four uh, types of ashes, um, uh, they, they, they pretty much have a, a, a very good sense of place, like, like uh, from the sea, from the coast, from the Andes and the Amazon. So this is part of our philosophy as a restaurant uh, that we are we're using in this uh, preparation. And also like, a, I must say like, a, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to give of course this sense of place, we have to use ingredients that are coming from the sea. Uh, like uh, let's say the number one, uh, you, we, we use the, the, the crab shells, some of the shells, uh, uh, yuyo, which is a, a seaweed, uh, sargassum. And then the one from the coast, we use most of the local ingredients uh, coming from, of course, from this, from this area, from Lima, where we are now. Mostly cactus and mostly fruits and vegetables that we, we get from, from local, very local producers, very close from, from this, this area in Lima. Uh, and then the one from, from the Andes, where we use ingredients coming from 4,000 meters level, like mostly from these areas in the Andes, uh, mostly from the city of Cusco, where we have our place in, in, in the Andes, a uh, meal, our restaurant. And, and where we have the second base of, of Mater Iniciativa. So over there we are gathering ingredients as, 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 we, as, as, as we show the, 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 the corns, uh, different native potatoes, different herbs, and um, different quinoas, uh, different cereals, different caniwa, kiwichas, uh, some maca roots, and, and some uh, fermented uh, corn, which is called chicha. And then, then we did uh, the, the, the ash with uh, the Amazonian ingredients, uh, and mainly uh, barks and mainly uh, uh, skins of, of uh, fruits and vegetables. So once we have all these four, I mean, we, we perfectly have uh, this sense of place of being in the Andes, being in the coast, being in, in, the, in the Amazon. So to thicken these ashes, we are going to use uh, the, um, the freeze-dried potato, which is called uh, chuño tunta. So we, we just boil or steam the tunta, until it goes, it gets like um, soft, and it, lo it looks like a glue, very like, like like glue, and then we mix with the with the with the the, the ashes, and uh, then we get these four uh, different doughs. Uh, then we we can notice that we have like a different flavors, and then we notice that we have different aromas, um, and then what we do is. We use a particular ingredient that is coming from a from from those regions. So let's say from the one in the in the in the, in, in the sea, we use the uh, an octopus. Uh, from the one in the coast, we use the ají amarillo, the yellow, yellow chili pepper, very very well known here in the coast. Um, what we do is like using very emblematic ingredients coming from these different areas, and then uh, from from the Andes, we use the the oca, one big piece of oca. Uh, and then um, from the Amazon we use a uh, cocona, which is a fruit. So um, so we basically wrap the ingredient with the dough and then we um, keep these ingredients up to 13 hours. So once we, we, we kind of wrap the, 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 the ingredients with all this dough, I, we can feel that, of course, this, this, uh, each one has a sense of place uh, coming from the ashes and the dough. And um, we have to leave this overnight uh, because we want the ingredients to be moistened by, by the, the dough. And the day after, maybe let's say 15 hours, uh, we take this back and we put this in the, in the oven. Okay, this is gonna be the thickener. The dough, the sour dough made out of uh, the freeze-dried potatoes. This ones.
So it's pretty obvious, like, like we're using all, all these uh, traditions and all these methods to innovate in a way that uh, uh, we can show uh, ingredients that we know with ingredients that probably some people has never experienced, has, has never seen before. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty obvious how we're using all this diversity of ingredients uh, coming from different ecosystems and also uh, how we are using our, uh, how we get inspired by, by, by uh, traditional methods and, and, and mainly our different cultures and cultures from, from the Amazonian regions and Andean regions uh, and also uh, coastal regions and, and how we are using all these uh, values to, to add flavor, to give a sense of place to add smokiness and more flavor, again, with, with smoke. So it's pretty obvious that we're using biodiversity to cook. Uh, the understanding of natural ingredients is important and how we are organizing these ingredients and methods inspired by, of course, by, by our culture, different culture from the Andes and the Amazon and the coast. And how we're using uh, these ingredients um, adapting to our philosophy as a restaurant, where we cook coming from the sea, the coast, the Andes, and the Amazon.
Hope you, hope you, dear friends, you enjoy these these cooking methods and, and these views of, of ingredients and, and and all my best from from Central from from Lima, Peru. Hope I see you soon. Take care.